Hello, Traveler. Are you here to learn about marine meteorology? <laughs> In my line of work, I've got to have a pair of sharp eyes. I saw the captain showing you around the training grounds, and then you went to see Yingxing and Huixing. So I figured that she probably wants you to get to know the life of a crew member. <laughs> okay, let's get started. First, I'll introduce you to the basics of meteorology. Marine meteorology basically means keeping tabs on the weather as well as other ocean phenomena. So things like sea fog, storm surges, water spouts, and so on. These are all potential threats to safe navigation. Luckily, whatever weather might be coming up, there's always some kind of sign that gives it away in advance. Take water spouts, for example. They're caused by high speed rotating winds on the surface of the ocean. They can engulf large ships and do immense damage. But if you know that water spouts can only form in an environment with high temperature, high humidity, and large clouds, then you can be well prepared. You will be even more alert if you also know that the presence of winds blowing in opposite directions with a significant difference in speed is a direct precursor to the formation of water spouts. And most importantly, if you spot a small white vortex emerging from the clouds, you should immediately notify the crew to steer clear of what's ahead. So there you go. Those are the warning signs of water spouts. I am proud to say that over the years, I haven't let a single one sneak up on my... <sighs> I've got to confess, I learned almost everything I know from the captain. All the stuff about meteorology that I just told you about, she's the real expert. Do you know the small fishing village next to Wang Shu Inn? I heard that when Captain Beto was a kid, she worked there fishing. Later, she made her way to the harbor where she struggled to make a living. <laughs> Growing up in an environment like that, it's no wonder she knows everything about the sea. When I first came on board, I lived every day wallowing in doubt, wondering if my former career as a sailor was all just a waste. But as I gradually learned some new things and became more experienced, I finally realized what makes the crux so great. After all, not every fleet has the uncrowned Lord of the Ocean as their leader. I feel lucky just to have joined. Find me anytime if you want to know more. <laughs> <laughs> 